Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me the, a question on email. I'm not 100% sure I understand. I think he wants to cut out the letters and have them joined to the, a piece of wood. And I've done videos like this, but I, I'm going to do this one a little bit different. So I've got a hairline box. I'm going to control D. I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to nudge it out of the way. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to weld it together. This is going to be our cutout. I'm going to take this one and use back minus front. And that would really work. Except for I don't want. Let's do let's do something else. Let's do. Uh, let's do this. Let's take the virtual segment delete key. Well, you have to change the font into a curve before it'll work. Take your virtual segment delete key and cut away all this. Then you can take this shape and just move it out of the way. Take this and turn it into something besides a hairline. And he's working with millimeters. I want to change it to inches real quick just so I know or I'm going to change it to points. I'm used to working with points. And I'm going to change it to a half a point black. And also the one I'm doing the video for, you had your duplicate set on 0.25 and 0.25, which is default. And that would cause a problem in this scenario. And then I'm going to bring that down. That will engrave and cut out. But it will not cut out the connecting parts. So that'll this will look like this when it's cut out of the wood. Make it a more of a wood color maybe. And then this will be engraved. And also for this video, I'm going to put that dream to the back of the page. I do have a hot key for that. So that's the way it would look. I hope that's what you meant. If not, email me back and describe a little bit more. But that's an easy fix and, and kind of a fun project. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.